What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? I'm here at Roy's Bait and Tackle in Corpus Christi, Texas, one of the largest tackle shops here, definitely my favorite tackle shop in town. And I'm here with Zach, who's the resident expert here for wading, and he's gonna be breaking down all the different brands and models of waders, because we've gotten a lot of questions from you guys on what types of waders to choose if you're getting into wade fishing. And for those of you who are already wade fishing, we're gonna be giving a breakdown of maybe some upgraded waders you might wanna take a look at. But I'm gonna let Zach take it away here. We're gonna start kind of with the lower end waders, the budget options and we'll move into some higher end stuff further on down the line. So Zach, you want to take it off, man? You got it, man. So yeah, looking at getting into waders, a lot of things, price points, brands, things like that, that just um, can get a little overwhelming if you're looking at it for the first time. So if you're looking at good waiter under 150 bucks, you know, in that $99 to 150 price range, a, a lot of frog togs in stock, uh, a couple models, they're going to have the, the canyons for 99, um, hell benders, uh, here for 159 and they're gonna go up 180 one, uh, 189 um, for a couple big differences on those waders um, just from a price point is what makes 199 to 89 it's gonna be uh, a lot of pocket configurations different zippers pockets um, things like that on these particular waders um, not necessarily any difference in material so get one that fits your style of fishing um, you know they're gonna be in men's women's kids uh, Frog Talks is a lot of options that, that we carry, you know, for wonder, under 180 bucks. Now, obviously the Frog Talks brand is a great option um, from a price point standpoint. Um, you know, typically from customers, we hear that the lifespan of this waiter is about one to three years. And obviously there's gonna be a ton of uh, factors that uh, account to that use, how many days on the water, and especially how you take care of the waiter. And that's gonna be from the Frog Talks brand all the way up to sims patagonia etc is maintenance but that's a, a different topic um, the sizes that's offered in these frog togs is going to be pretty standard um, you're going to just going to have small medium large extra large 2x um, foot sizing again that's going to be uh, a little bit variable on the size uh, so you know as you'll see from the budget standpoint these waders make a lot of sense um, at the same time it can be difficult to size them in the shop as the from that standpoint, the, the sizing options are basic, small, medium, large, extra large, two extra large. Alrighty guys, moving on to that mid price point on the waders, you know, you're looking around 175 to about right at 299. Uh, what you're going to start to see in this category is a, a bigger selection of sizing. Um, your, your large shorts, different inseams, different girths, things like that on the fit, uh, different shoe sizes. Um, and you're also going to start to see the a little bit better materials, things like that made in a couple of these um, different models. Uh, Orvis, uh, they do want, it's 198, it's the Orvis Clearwater. This is a, a good waiter, um, you know, backed by the name that a lot of people, uh, you know, assume with quality here. Um, it, it's pretty standard pocket configuration, uh, hand warmer pockets, things like that. That's gonna be pretty standard at this price point. Um, but big thing is you're gonna have not just small, medium, large, extra large, but you're also gonna have a large short and extra large short, things like that. So if you're not, extra large and you're not 6'2", um, but you are extra large and you're more in that 5'8", five, 5'9", five, you're not going to have an excess of material backed up around your, around the, you know, base of your legs. So better inseam fit on those. Um, same thing here with the uh, Sims, Tributary and Soul River. Um, again, another name that everybody's going to assume uh, with quality and, and both of these uh, waiters uh, deliver that. Um, good materials here, uh, 179 on the Tributaries. And uh, the Soul Rivers, uh, also 179. The only difference between these two waders um, is just going to be the, the print on the front pocket. So not much there, just more of an aesthetic difference. Um, and then looking at the 299, you're gonna get into the uh, Sims, the Freestone. Um, this is one of the more popular mid, um, kind of touching that upper level price point, but Big deal here is durability difference. Um, instead of using a nylon or a polyester on the outside of the waders, this is a Toure fabric, um, and that's gonna be extremely durable. Uh, guys that do a lot of duck hunting, cast and blast, not just fishing or sliding over the gunnels of the boat or just, just durability. This is gonna be more puncture resistant, um, more abrasion resistant compared to uh, most of the other waders that are um, in that lower price point. You know, as we get into this, um, mid price point and upper price point, the, one of the key advantages is getting a waiter that fits you properly. Um, you're gonna be more comfortable. Um, 
you know, being able to spend more time on the water um, without, you know, foot being too small or the inseam riding up in the crotch area, things like that. And that's um, when people ask, why should I, you know, spend more on a waiter fit materials, things like that on warranty, uh, looking at the lower price point again, uh, you know, we said about one to three years on the lifespan on these mid price points. I mean, these waiters should, um, you know, two to, two to four, two to five. Again, there's so many variables on that as far as taking care of them, maintenance, uh, maintenance on these waiters, just rinsing them off, salt, harsh salt water environments, um, things like that, and a better warranty on a lot of these waiters as well. Some of them going up to, uh, you know, one to two years on the warranty period. Moving on to the premium, your high-end waiters, um, this price point is gonna be in that 400 up to seven, $800. Um, what's gonna set these waiters apart from the other two tiers is really the fabric and the materials, the technology and time that's put into these waiters um, to make them perform better and fit better and last longer. Look, looking at Sims, um, really we look at three things on the Sims, the high-end waiters. First and foremost, it's gonna be a Gore-Tex waiter, um, highly breathable material, one of the best waterproof materials out there on the market. They're gonna be made in the USA, they're made in Bozeman, Montana. You know, and, and third is the warranty. And the, the made in the USA and the warranty kind of go hand in hand. These waiters, um, everything in this, in this column that we're gonna go here, they're repairable. Um, and they're gonna have what they're considered a lifetime warranty. Again, that's gonna go on the, the lifetime of the waiter. Um, it typically, we're seeing these waiters last three to seven uh, plus years. Um, and that's gonna depend a lot on if it's daily use, uh, whether it's a, a guy using them you know, 250, 300 days a year, um, or you know, your guy just fishing out there on the weekend and uh, you know, pretty serious angler fishing 100 days out of the year. Looking at the 440, nine dollar pair here this is the the sims uh the guide select pretty cool pocket here it's made out of a pretty stretchy fabric so if you have something um that might be a little bit oversized um item or something that you want to stick in there um that's that's a, a big plus here is having that pocket that can stretch um in addition to the gore-tex moving on to the the g3s um that's probably going to be the most popular uh high-end waiter on the market right now you're going to have the, the Gore-Tex uh, three layers upper and the four on the bottom. And this is going to go up the seat area to the lower back. That's really big for the cast and blast guys. Um, and just that's a high wear point, um, you know, as you're sitting in the boat or, or, or just, you know, the seat that's going to take up a lot of abuse on the waiter. Again, the same pocket configuration on all the G3s. I have a little Velcro here. You could stick a, a patch on there, jig hooks, flies, whatever. Um, you know, a, a quality belt, um, thick, something that's going to offer a little bit of support as well. Um, and definitely a highly customizable fit. Uh, Sims can definitely change the inseam. They're going to have, uh, you know, not only small, medium, large, but they're going to have kings, king sizes, shorts, and tall. Big difference between the 449 here and then the, the G3s, which are going to be 600 is this is a, a standard Gore-Tex material and the, the G3 is gonna be what they're calling a Gore-Tex Pro. Um, this material is just a little bit more supple and a, a little different liner on the inside. Stepping up to their uh, top tier waiter, 849 on the G4 Pro. Um, this is the, the flagship waiter. Um, the, the thing that's gonna set this waiter apart from the other uh, waiters and Sims is, is the zipper on the front. Uh, this has a lot of advantages. Um, from, you know, if you're a, a bigger guy getting in and out of the waders or just a day where you're having a lot of layers, it's a lot easier to tuck that stuff in the sides and then zip it up versus trying to pull everything up from the bottom. Um, another thing that we hear a lot and, and that, that we use this waiter is a lot easier to go to the bathroom uh, out there on the water, which is a pretty important thing on, on those longer days. On the zippered waders, instead of having to pull the, the shoulder straps off, you know, you can reach up under your waders, pull the zipper down, um, and, and, uh, and go to the bathroom. Uh, that's something that's that's not only in the, the G4 waiter, um, but that's also here in the Freestone Z. Um, that is the same uh, zipper in that waiter, just with a, you know, this is the Torre fabric on the on the Freestone Z for um, 399 versus the 849 there. And again, the difference between those two materials is gonna be, you know, lifespan, uh, breathability and warranty some other popular brands in the high-end uh, category uh, worth 
you know, considering if you're purchasing something in this price range is gonna be the Orvis Pro. Um, these are gonna be right at uh, $498. That's a, a very good waiter comparable to the Sims uh, G3 waiter, or uh, the Sims uh, Guide Select waiter. You know, just, it's the Cordura fabric, which is, I mean, extremely abrasion resistant. You can feel that, uh, feeling this waiter um, in person. This is a very stout, uh, abrasion resistant material uh, with a good warranty in it. And, and again, looking at this price point, something that's gonna be able to, we're gonna have a size here that's gonna fit you. It fits you right, whether that's getting the right foot size, um, if you're a tall guy with, uh, or a shorter guy with big feet or, or vice versa, something that, uh, you know, the odd size is hard to fit. At this price, this price point, we're gonna find something that fits you um, and fits you right. Um, and then moving on to the Patagonia waders, um, you know, definitely their material is gonna be a proprietary, the H2NO material. Um, that's gonna be made from uh, mostly, if not all, recycled materials. Um, and again, very comparable in quality, just across the, across the board, very highly, highly highly abrasion resistant you know you're gonna a lot of the stuff that might pierce or puncture some of those um the lower lower end waders um, might just you know kind of deflect off of these and, and not 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 cause a complete puncture patagonia is also going to offer um a zippered waiter you know with all the things that we mentioned the, the pros and benefits um that come with that zipper and their price point uh the msrp is 650 on on the the non-zip and 749 here on the uh, zippered waiter. Something that sets uh, the Patagonias, you know, a little bit apart from some of the others is on those hot days. Uh, we get that a lot here in Texas, um, you know, where the water temperatures in the 50s, um, but the air's in the 80s, um, sometimes even pushing up in the 90s. Um, is the suspender feature here where you can unclip these, uh, which would be up, up high up, up in your chest, and you can actually slide these waders down. To where they're you know more like a hip waiter so that way if you know you're trying to keep your legs dry warm but up top you're wearing something like a light t-shirt um that's definitely a, a really big um difference here that you can do with the patagonia waiters that you can't really do um with a whole bunch of other others so um, definitely a feature if that's you find yourself in that situation a lot of waiter to consider Okay, so that's a pretty good breakdown of the tiers, materials, price points, and models available. Uh, but one of the biggest takeaways uh, that I want you guys to, to know from today in this video is, is the importance of finding a local tackle shop and a place that you can try these waders on. Uh, a shop like Roy's, uh, where we stock all these waders, multiple if not most all sizes that these brands offer. And, uh, and just try them on, get your hands on them, uh, ask somebody for help. And, and just because some of these, different waders whether it's sims orvis frog dogs certain brands are going to favor different body types um you know just different sizes in general so very important to try these on at a local shop versus buying online um, and that way you get the the right fit the first time and and there's usually especially here at the shop we have guys like myself and other employees that you know this is what we do and we hope you get the right size and you know we could sit there and say that waiter that fits or i think you should go up a size and, and that's the um yeah, the importance of going somewhere local and, and trying them on. So Zach, thanks so much for breaking down all the differences between these different types of waders and brands. And it can be a little bit confusing. I know when I came in here, I got some awesome help from guys like Zach. I actually picked out the free stones that I'm standing in right here. Uh, they're some great waders and it was just what worked for my body type most. So again, highly recommend you guys go into your local tackle shop, try out some of these different brands, figure out what works best for you. And if you wanna learn how to make the most of your waders when you do get out on the water, become a better fisherman, I highly recommend you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee that you'll be catching more fish in less time while saving money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, an exclusive online fishing community, and access to group discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. We hope to see you in the Insider Club family soon.